I gave you a warm bed to sleep in. I gave you life and everything around you. Be grateful for that by staying until the end of my message. I will give you even better things. But if you distance yourself from me, I will also be forced to distance myself from you, although it goes against my will because I love you and want the best for you. However, God gave you free will to choose between good and evil, and Satan is eagerly waiting for an opportunity to approach you. I won't allow that. If you help me spread the word of goodness to more people, simply click as many buttons on your side as possible. This way, you will be playing your good role as a Christian, sharing the divine word with others as written in the Bible. I will mention your name to the Lord and tell him that you deserve great things because when no one was watching, you were doing good. May the peace of the Lord be present in your life at this moment. I give you all my love. Show that you have compassion for others and write in the comments, Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. May God in heaven guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms in the Bible, the Word of God. It has the power to give you blessings of protection and break many bonds in your life. It can also bring a protective blessing to your home and family. Today we are going to pray Psalm 91, and after praying this psalm with you, rest assured that God will bless you greatly. I invite you to pray this psalm with me, either by repeating the words or in your head so that you can receive all the promises contained in this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments. In this particular Psalm 91 prayer, I would like you to add the name of a loved one in the comments because, as I mentioned before, it is a powerful psalm of victory over the family and our home. Leave the names of your family members in the comments, and I will pray and present all of them to God for His glory. Please hit the like button at the beginning of this video. Every time you hit the like button, you are letting YouTube know that this content is edifying for you and can be shared with others. It's essential to hit the like button to support the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you can receive other powerful prayers on your cell phone through YouTube. Now prepare your heart for this prayer from Psalm 91. You can listen to and repeat this prayer throughout the week. It will do great good if you could listen to this prayer for seven days. Let's pray together. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels, concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. My Lord God and my Father, Creator of the heavens and the earth, Jehovah Rapha, God who heals, Jehovah Jireh, God of provision, Jehovah Shalom, God of peace, Jehovah Elohim, the God who is in control of everything, my God. Under the prayer of Psalm 91, I come to ask you at this moment to break all the ties in this person's life, all ties of spiritual life, family life, financial life, and health. Let them be broken and fall to the ground in this moment of prayer. O oh, Almighty God, I ask you to send a strong angel with a drawn sword towards this person's house to break all the actions of the enemy, every evil action that is over this person's house. Every action of the enemy in the form of fights, marital conflicts, curses, tribulations, and addictions. Touch them now with your power so that this person's house may be covered by your blood and by an anointing of protection. Your word says in Psalm 91 that no evil shall befall them, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. My God, every curse that surrounds this home, let it be broken and fall to the ground in this moment of prayer. 
every work that has been erected against this life under the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare that it is broken. Every work written, buried, thrown to the wind, spoken by someone who wants to harm this person, I am declaring that it falls to the ground now. My God, all the illnesses that have affected this life through some evil being, some spirit of illness, as your word says, the arrow that Psalm 91 speaks of, arrows of illness are now being broken by your power, arrows of disease now by the power of the prayer of Psalm 91. I declare that they begin to fall to the ground. I declare that they retreat. I declare under the blessing of this prayer that all illnesses in this body begin to disappear. Almighty Father, Psalm 91 says that you would deliver us from snares. So, my God, I ask you now to deliver this person from all snares, from all the traps of the enemy. My God, deliver the house, deliver the family, deliver this person from the wicked man, from the snare of the bloodthirsty man. My God, deliver this person from stray bullets, from assaults, from accidents. My Father, on the road when leaving home, let the angels accompany this person on departure and arrival. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that this person will not stumble. I declare that this person will not fall. I declare the blessing of the Almighty God on this life. Now please raise your right hand, or if not possible, place it on your heart. But please, I want you to repeat these words with me again. You can either repeat them out loud or mentally as you pray with me. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want you to say Amen and give thanks to God. You have claimed this prayer, and I'm sure that you have claimed it. I want to tell you that all the blessings contained in Psalm 91 are now upon you, your house, and your family. I repeat, if you can listen to this prayer for seven days, seven being the number of God and perfection, it will be very beneficial. Afterward, you can share your testimonies in the comments, which I know will be many. I also ask that you send this prayer to your family and friends. Many people now need the great blessings of victory and protection from Psalm 91 in their lives. Share it with your loved ones, and they will all be very blessed. Please tell me what you felt when you heard the prayer of Psalm 91. May Jehovah bless you greatly and powerfully until next time.